Hey guys, Nick here, Not Life Kennel. Hope y'all are all doing well today. Apologize, it is uh, Monday the 12th, I believe. February the 12th, 2018, Monday. Been busy all this past weekend down at uh, Winter Classic, Baseball, Mississippi. So I didn't get any kind of footage up for you guys and didn't get a chance to hunt from like Wednesday on. So hadn't put up any videos, so I really apologize. We were just so swamped down there. I did not have time to go around with the camera and film anything and get you any kind of footage of the uh, winter classic so i apologize back in town now got coon hunting on the mind that's all i want to do right now um so down here at my bench plugging up all my stuff i got my big dog light you see it hanging right there charging up i got my sport dog tattoo and the collars plugged up charging so we're going to be ready to rock and roll hopefully tree some coons here something later on in the week get you guys some footage hopefully uh, while i was at it i was noticing my collars um got these right here on them this right here is a Sport Dog Beacon Light. Um, this is a strobe light or solid green light that shines on your dog's collar at night when you're coon hunting. It comes in five different colors. You got green. Um, let's see here. My collar right here, you can tell there's a blue one on this one. Um, that's a collar I don't use very often, so I don't have a light on it. But there's five different colors. You got green, blue, white, red, and amber. Um... This right here, I'm telling you guys, this is cheap insurance for your dog. These things are like 20 bucks on the website. I will not run a collar on my dog at night without one of these on it. Um, this is cheap, cheap insurance, guys. It's not a guaranteed foolproof thing to keep your dog from getting run over. But this weekend at Winter Classic, had an old timer come up and was telling us, you know, he's he's not real high tech guy. You know, he don't. I think he's got some kind of GPS system, but you know. He don't hardly ever look at leaves it in a truck all the time. He's got an old wheat lamp that he's still working with instead of these high-tech LED lights. But he said this right here is one thing. He will not turn his dog loose without one on. He has dog get out of the pocket one night and went in there. I don't know how far away. But anyway, he got on a four-lane road. Highway, interstate, I don't know. But it was a four-lane road, very busy, even late at night. All of a sudden, he heard tires screeching. Tires come, you know, cars come to a sliding halt around his dog, he thought. It's over with. They, my dog's dead. Went down there. Dogs were standing there stunned. All these cars around it. Didn't hit his dog. Lady got out of the car and said if it wasn't for that blinking light on his collar, she wouldn't have seen his dog and she'd run over his dog. I've had several people tell me the exact same thing. Um, also, myself, um, I have never had a dog actually get in the road with, you know, too much. But just seeing this light right here, I've had instances before where, you know, my handheld on my gps went dead because i forgot to charge it up but i was able to get a high point on the ridge and i could see my dog six or eight hundred yards away with this i knew where to go get my dog um just cheap insurance guys like i said 20 bucks throw this on your collar you won't regret it it takes cr 2032 batteries which are very common you can get them at just about any gas store dollar general walmart cbs walgreens whatever you want so the batteries are cheap I've been running this on my dog right now for about all season long. Just now, season started in September. I'm just now having to put a fresh set of batteries in it. Batteries are still good. It just wasn't as bright enough as I would like for it to be. Go ahead and swap out my blue light while I'm at too. Same thing on it. Uh, they were brand new lights back in September. Uh, well, actually, the blue light I've had for two years, but I put fresh batteries in it in September. So from September to beginning of February on one set of batteries, you can't beat that. But um, also while we're at it, we had a few people come up to us, said they loved the light, but they had a couple concerns. One guy said the tops were always falling off. Um, and another guy was talking about how he couldn't get, all of a sudden it wouldn't turn on, put fresh batteries and it wouldn't turn on. There's two little troubleshooting things. If that happens to you guys, simple fixes that you need to look into before you, you know, get too upset. I'll show you what they are, how to prevent them and how to fix them. So let's go over here to the bench, give you a closer look at them. All right, guys, so this right here is the Sport Dog Beacon Lights. Um, comes in five different colors right now. Currently, I only have these two. Um, of course, you got blue, green. It comes with a red, a white, and an amber as well. Um, you got two modes of operation on this. I'll just go ahead and take you through this. Um, to turn this, we'll go ahead and turn this one off. You hold this button down right here. It goes to solid. You continue to hold it. It'll turn off. So that's your on and off. Your button is right there. Come in there with your fingernail. Hold it down for roughly three seconds. It'll come on. 
let go that's your solid mode as you guys can tell very bright now if you want to go to blinking mode put your fingernail back under there hold it down go to blink if you want to turn this light off you hold it down it'll go to solid and you continue holding and it's off that's how you go on and off and that's how you go through between your settings now a couple of troubleshooting things here guys i have guys tell me sometimes that the top keeps coming off of these and what i do is i ask them i said have you put new batteries in it recently and they said yeah put new batteries in it and next thing i know the top's gone simple solution to fix this first off to take the top off you do a one quarter turn and the top it's got an o-ring in there and it fits kind of tight you tell i had to put some effort in there to get that off okay this right here is your o-ring if i can get that to focus for you guys there's an o-ring goes right through here all the way around this um what happens is when guys put a fresh set of batteries in here they'll take this on here and they'll set it down and they won't get that flush they'll get that o-ring in a bind so when they do twist this on here and it seats down let me double check make sure i don't have it in the bind yep we're good to go do like that now as you can tell that is set right there pretty good we we'll go ahead and go all the way around and make sure it's seated what we did is we actually made sure that o-ring got put down in the pocket that it's supposed to be in made a good seal and didn't get in the bind if that o-ring gets in the bind you'll have one of two things happen one this top will pop off once you go hunting or two water is going to get in here and kill this light so once you do that you're good to go another thing is you guys tell me sometimes all of a sudden it quit working i've had this thing a year worked great all of a sudden now it won't work put a fresh set of barriers in it still won't work no fix let me show you guys how to take care of that take the top off again dump your batteries out all right as you guys can tell there's a tab right here in the middle what you do sometimes over time that tab will get pressed down just take you a flathead screwdriver or if you're out hunting take your pocket knife whatever go underneath that tab and lightly pry it up don't go too far because you don't want to break that tab off because then then you're shot but just lightly bend that up so that way it makes contact with these batteries. Now, take your CR2032s. You want to go plus side down. Like so. Shake them. Make sure you get them in the center. We got our O-ring set where it needs to be. Tighten it down. Now let's test it out. If I can get my finger in there. Good to go. There it is. So there you go, guys. That is the Sport Dog Beacon Light. Absolutely some awesome insurance for your dog. I'll put a link in the description below. These things are about 20 bucks online. Get them sent out to you. You will get a one-year warranty with it. So if anything happens within a year, if they do quit working and those tricks don't fix it, or if you lose the top, as long as you got your receipt, call up Customer Service Sport Dog, and I'll try to provide a link for that as well and they will hook you up with a new light because sport dog really cares about their customers dog hunting man design equipment for dog men they'll take good care of you i hope this helps you out guys but please reach in your pockets a little bit grab you 20 bucks order you a couple of these lights put them on your dogs this right here may be what saves the life of your hound one day appreciate you guys tuning on to my channel i uh, hope you find this a little bit informative if you will if you haven't already click like and subscribe below share with your friends and we're going to look forward to getting out in the woods this weekend and this week and getting you guys some coon hunting footage in the meantime tree one for me